Hey, this is David, Richter Scale Studios. Um, you've seen this printer in many previous videos. This is my Anycubic i3 Mega. I've had it well over a year now, and I've done a little bit of modding to it, nothing much, because you really don't want to screw with this printer. It's such a stiff frame, the i3 design. Puts out amazing prints, even with PLA, uh, probably close to my um, Prusa Mark III. And if you can see here, I have an open hot end, and the thing I'm gonna discuss today is there's a blue sock. And if you own an Anycubic, they use V5s with those smaller blocks that no one makes socks for them. You can always see something on Thingiverse to make your own automotive uh, silicone sock. They have to make a mold or something like that, which is crazy. I just got an Anycubic Chiron not too long ago. It's down right now. I'll put a picture up above. I just got a brand new board from Anycubic. Amazing customer service. I can't say anything better about that. Uh, I used a Anycubic V5 Chiron hot end. It's got two set screws. It's not all one piece like the ones that come with the i3 Mega. I don't know if those changed over since they upgraded to the S. But I uh, did some changes. I'm gonna, uh, getting closer and show you what I put on this thing uh, to make it a little bit better. Okay, we are back. So we got the Anycubic uh, Chiron V5 hot end installed. The reason why I used it... It's got two set screws in it. These are so much easier to take to take apart. My Mega came with an extra one, but it's I couldn't get it apart for some reason. It's got a screw in heat break that comes into the cooling uh, uh, fins here, the body. So I these are thirteen dollars. There's no reason why not to try it out. And I did this on my Chiron already. So everything I'm showing you here works on the Anycubic Chiron. They use basically the same uh, thermos or hot end. <laughs> And then all you do is uh, take that apart. Uh, take this apart first. It'll make it much easier. They're very tight against the um, heat break that goes into the heater block. And then these Winston, there's like 10 of these in a bag, I think, or maybe six. Uh, I'll have links to everything below. You see how this sets up. Let me put these side by side. So it's offset more, but you're gonna have a piece of metal holding so much more heat, making it more efficient. And then with the sock itself being put on there, it's gonna uh, be more insulated. So this is gonna give you a better printing experience. And one of the best things about a sock, uh, if you had a print go sideways on you, especially PETG, if it gets knocked or something like that and it starts melting and getting stuck to your heater block, uh, it's a crazy mess to clean up. I've seen disasters. I've been through semi-disasters myself, even with my i3, uh, my Prusa Mark III, I've had problems with that. And this one, not really, just uh, the hot end went out. So this will keep the uh, plastic from sticking to everything, but it'll still get to some parts. But the main uh, part, will this all just comes off of it automatically, which is awesome. And then another thing that I, I upgraded on it, um, this is what comes in the, um, the hot end itself, the, for the Mega and the Chiron. So you have your standard uh, heater cartridge, then you have this uh, kind of a, Frankenstein thermistor. This is like a regular glass bead thermistor that you're familiar with that goes in the little screw holds it down. But any cubic kind of made it a little fancier with this uh, brass casing and you have a um, set screw hold it in. I upgrade it to these cartridges. These are by FISIC and these are all what the new um, E3D V6 cartridges use or heat hot ends or hot hot ends and heater blocks use. Uh, much nicer quality, rated to 300 degrees Celsius, so you can't go wrong with this. I bought some JST, uh, two millimeter JSTs. That's what uses for your both your fans and your thermistor on an Anycubic or a Chiron. And then the 2.5s are for your uh, heater cartridges if you ever want to upgrade those, so you just take notes from that if you want. I spliced it together real simply, um, just uh, wire strippers, a little bit of solder, and some heat shrink, and it was done. I've have I don't know probably 40 or 50 hours on this one already and it's been working great uh, I can't complain I don't know I don't think if the um, print quality is any better but it's just as good and I have the peace of mind of the sock it looks a little cooler and I like how, how my open face you've seen other videos you can search my past videos if you want to do that I'll put a link below to it so uh, that's gonna be it I wanted to keep this really short to help you out the next video I did a 20 inch PLA at at Walker from Empire Strikes Back for Star Wars Legion. 
from Thingiverse, and that's going to be pretty epic. I'm just going to do the print of it and the build and the priming, and that should be coming out very soon after this. So as usual, always thank you for joining me, and uh, use the links below if you can. I hope this helps you out, and pass along to a friend if you know they have i3 Mega or a Chiron. Um, this is kind of a cool little inexpensive upgrade to do. And you can say I have a modded printer now. Thank you for joining me.